Hello, Sula here from MistyHilltops.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm working on a 6x6 double page spread titled The Sweet Life. I'll be scrapping a number of photos and I'm working with a digital scrapbook kit Eat Dessert First by Heather Roselli and Megan Mullins from Sweet Shop Designs. So once again, I'm starting with a pattern paper for the background and then I'm placing another pattern paper on top of that. And actually, in hindsight, I realized I should have just um, used a slightly different um, cropping. The, the paper is the right way if you look at um, the entire pattern. There is cakes upside down and cakes the right side up. And however, Funnily, the way it turned out when I placed the other elements on top of that pa uh, paper, other papers on top of that paper, all that um, you see is that uh, the cakes are actually upside down. So it looks like the paper is um, glued, glued in the wrong, the, the wrong way when it actually is um, not directional at all so as you can see here like all um, all around it shows cakes upside down so that was funny I wasn't um, aware as I was cropping this to um, the rectangles in the silhouette file that I created for this in hindsight I should have just paid a little more attention and by just um, moving the paper up or down a little bit that would have been um, changed. It's not a big deal um, as most of it is covered up anyway, but uh, I thought it was funny in the hindsight. Now I'm actually realizing and I'm thinking maybe should I turn it around, but I think when I realize it, it's too late. I already glued down this little heart that is directional and so I couldn't go back. So that's when I realized no, all the, all the cakes are upside down. When, so um, I'm thinking maybe I could, no, it doesn't work. So I'm just gonna leave it this way. It wouldn't have mattered to take, turn it upside down, but I had already started gluing things down, so it did matter in this uh, way, and so it, it was okay. <laughs> it's just one of the things that, that just life happens. Um, obviously, the anyone seeing this page later will not know, but I know that, in fact, the page goes in all directions and it's not directional at all, actually. So anyways, now I'm ready to um, assemble the pages and before, for once I'm actually remembering that there are things that go behind that I should glue down first. There's often enough where I start gluing things down and I realize, oh no, something should have gone behind and then it's too late. So anyway, um, in this case, I was remembering that things should go for first before I glue other layers that go on top. And then this is a little paper flag that I created. And I made a little video, a tutorial on how to create such paper flags. It's actually super easy. Most of you probably will, would figure it out um, by themselves. But if you want to, I'll, uh, I can leave you a link in the description box below to the to video tutorial that shows how I create these little paper flags. And so um, now I'm ready to glue down that main um, background paper there. That is basically the paper, the mat for my photos. And while it is patterned, I try to keep the pattern not very wild so that the photos, it's, it doesn't clash too much with the photos. I am aware uh, of how I use patterns and I don't, while I love pattern papers, I don't like to go very wild. Um, so even when I design my own scrapbook kits, I always make sure there is a good amount of papers that are um, with enough contrasting colors, like papers that are full on, uh, full color, and then papers that are still patterned, but um, with a main color um, that, is a, that is just like you see here, that pink um, paper here that is a um, graph paper, but um, so it's a slight pattern, but it's 
it, it gives a good contrast to other pages so even when I scrap and I guess the fact is that I do scrap myself and that's when I realize I need enough papers that can contrast when it's all uh, like wild patterns then I don't like to mix those papers together on the same layout but if it's a mix of um, just all different kinds of colors and then a mix of more uh, one one type of color then it works well I've noticed that as I work with um, products by other designers often I run into this problem they probably are not the ones who scrap themselves so they only have like what I call like it's only one value of of color it's all just all different patterns but there's very little contrasting color and so um, when I create my own um, kits that um, you can find on my website mistyhilltops.com as freebies I share everything as freebie um, I make sure it has the different um, contrasting colors so I'm still arranging everything and uh, I guess I could save myself the commenting on every single one of them so um, what I like is with the digital kids I can all, always print out everything in the size that I need rather than when I uh, buy finished products that are pa ready paper products and they come in the size that you buy them in and so that's the beauty of working with digital um, with digital products they come in any size that you want to size them in so here uh, because i did design this page in silhouette uh, i was already able to do my journaling and i knew which parts of the journal mat would be covered so i made sure that the journaling ran around the elements usually i don't bother by placing any of the elements on my pages yet just um putting them in my silhouette so I can print them but in this case I actually had them already um, in some idea of where I would cluster them so that I could run my journaling around it and the journaling wouldn't be covered by um, by any other elements because then you don't know what's written underneath so here I have some more flowers and other things that need to be cluster together these flowers are just um, from some of my dyes that um, I use them with and so um, I add them and I cluster them around my page there making sure there's a little bit of dimension I don't want the dimension to go too crazy because it'll go in an album and so I don't like it to be too bulky but this is just enough and it will flatten out a little bit as um, it lies in the page uh, on in the album so anyway this is my page done i'm going to leave you with some more uh, close-ups i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did consider subscribing and i hope you have a great day thanks for watching bye